morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Right, so today we are going to make crazy Chinese alcohol. Around this time of year, every year, you get a certain type of fruit called a yangmei. It's basically a large red fruit, bit like a yeah, similar flavor to a raspberry, not anything as soft as that. It's about this big, like the size of a gobstopper maybe. Basically, they have so much of this, people can't eat fast enough so they make it into an alcohol so the weather wasn't that great and this year there was just wasn't the same amount of um yangmei around so now i've been left with a large quantity of baijiu so today we're gonna make a never made before alcohol we're gonna have a try i'm just gonna experiment with maybe one barrel first and then we're gonna try if if it works out okay we'll, we'll uh, maybe i'll add a different fruit we'll see first let me show you. Right, so this, this right here, and right here, this is five liters of Baijiu, and another five liters. So I bought 10 liters in total, not realizing that um, there wasn't gonna be the Yang Mei about. Very simple to make. We only need three ingredients. Number one is this. I just showed you this. A massive thing of Baijiu. Now this is cheap, cheap, cheap Baijiu. This five liters was 60 RMB. So that's bloody cheap and it's not, I, you could drink it, but it, the, it's, it's not really made for flavor or taste. Item number two, Bing Tang, or this is this is basically just unrefined sugar. So you can't see through the bag, but it looks like crack cocaine. So I hear, what I've seen from the pictures. And it just it's just unrefined sugar. I think it's kind of yellowy, big rocks. You need to put, especially with the Yang Mei's, because they're not so sweet. You put in, like a, I usually put a big handful of this in, in here with the Baijiu and the fruit, and then, just leave it. Item number three, obviously, is the fruit. Now, as I just said, we don't have this fruit. It's a bit of a shame. So, I'm gonna have to go out now, go to the shops, and have a look. Woohoo! Also, another great thing that I've just realized is going outside means I can try these bad boys out. Um, this is like, kind of, I love these weird and crazy products. And this is a great example of that. Um, I saw these shoes on this Facebook Target advertising and then found them on Taobao, the Chinese eBay. And when your size 45 shoes turn up and they're this big, I mean, it's not even as big as my hand, it's quite interesting, right? So these are some sort of like, they're kind of like a cool wrap around shoe that seems to be made out of like some sort of wetsuit material. It's kind of cool. Bag they come in. Feels like it's camping equipment. Pretty cool. Just outside now, and it is literally hotter than the sun. It's only 32 degrees, but here in Wenzhou we have a humidity of like 90%. You can probably see sweating everywhere. Best thing in the world, already wet. Great.
idea if this is going to be any good as a flavor, but you know, in the circumstances, it's just worth trying. So I'm going to go ahead, and now is the easy part. We just have to put all of this in here and add some of the bing tang, the unrefined sugar, and then we are good to go. Open that. Good. <laughs> Gonna use this cup as well to take out some of the baijiu that's in here because there's not enough space for both and I don't want it to overflow onto the table. Alright, you can see this is the unrefined sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and put like about a handful of this inside the baijiu. It's all added. All there is to do now is just to quickly put some clean film over the top of this, put the lid back on, and then we're gonna leave it for at least a few months to uh, like all the flavor will come out from the fruit into the baijiu. Also, a side note, just in case you didn't know what I mean when I say baijiu, baijiu is Chinese rice wine. It's like a clear spirit that is like the fire of death. I used to hate it, I now love this. Um, it's basically just made from uh, fermented uh, rice and yeast. And it's typically about 50% strength, sometimes 53 to 54, depending on where you go. But this stuff, I think, is 50%, 50% proof. So it's going to be pretty strong. That's why I put the sugar in to kind of like uh, take the edge or the off the edge of the alcohol. Update: I've actually found some when I was coming home from work. So I'm gonna make the second batch with actual Yang maize. Each and the leftover of the yang mei and the leftover of the baijiu. Right, all done. Hope you enjoyed seeing how to make yang mei jiu. And um, yeah, keep an eye on the channel, like, subscribe, and share, please.